Hey folks, it's your old pal Nick here, and we're just going to do a quick unboxing today, a kind of unexpected one. About, uh, let's say, a week ago, maybe not even quite a week ago, I got an email from Cool Mini or Not in my inbox, and I think everyone did. It was actually one of their update uh, emails from the Kickstarter project for Zombicide Season 3, Rue Morgue. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I think it's supposed to be Rue Morgue. I've never had to say it out loud that often, but <laughs> um, they were letting us know that this is kind of fishy. I sus I'm kind of suspicious this is not quite all the truth but they're saying that they're out of warehouse space they have all of this stuff for the Kickstarter and all their other Kickstarters that they're doing and they've got you know uh, Wrath of Kings I think is still coming into their warehouses here domestically and they need to get rid of all of the games that are there so they are sending out at no extra cost Rue Morgue in and of itself to the U.S. backers and we were all kind of shocked and of course people that were most shocked were the people in other countries some of whom were happy for us here in the U.S. some of whom were quite not but I even if their reasons are suspect hey I'm getting zombie side early and in fact it did arrive today this is only the I was kind of unsure before I opened the box as I filmed the unboxing already but this was only Rue Morgue, essentially just the retail version of Rue Morgue that everyone will have access to. There will be another wave of stuff with all the extra bonus miniatures that got unlocked as part of the campaign and extra cards and, you know, like little terrain like ravens and things like that. All of that's going to be later. This is just the Rue Morgue stuff, but I still thought it was worth unboxing because there's a lot of cool stuff and miniatures to it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hey now, Brawlers, I am going to do a very quick unboxing of Zombicide Season 3 Rue Morgue from Cool Mini or Not. Now, as I explained in my opening, I this I believe this is just the base game. Um, I'm shooting my opening actually after I do this actual unboxing, so I, uh, I may have to correct myself. But I think that this is just the base game because of the whole thing where they're shipping this... Um, ahead of the rest of the stuff because they need warehouse space for whatever mysterious reason. So I, this may just be the base game, but I think it'll still be pretty cool to take a look at all that. So I actually don't have any like professional razor to use. I'm just going to use my trusty scissors that I, I have literally had these scissors for. I would not be surprised if it was 20 years. I, I, I'm not kidding. That's very disturbing. But I'm not a hoarder. It's just the way it's worked out. All right, here we go. All right, yes, I was correct. There is nothing extra unless they slipped it into the box somehow. So this is Zombie Side Season 3, Rue Morgue. Uh, I really I, I really love the art in this game. Say what you will, I think the art is really stellar in all of the Zombie Side stuff. Um, and it always has been. They just do a, a really good professional looking job. And I think that's why it's been so popular and why people buy it on Amazon.com and why it sticks out. Uh, but okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and bust this puppy open. I'll zoom back out. I am still trying to get the hang of my camera, by the way, since we're talking in such an informal setting. Let's see. There we go. And I am excited. By the way, my game group meets in literally 20 minutes. I just got home. So it's very possible that we're just going to play this all night. And I might be able to get a review up rather quickly if I play it enough, but we'll see. All right. Here we go. Cool, cool, cool. Typical fragile boxes. Oh, look, I don't remember there actually being a logo on these mini boxes before, but every rule book gets bigger and bigger, I think. It's a tome, but I prefer that it's all in one place, actually. I kind of hate it when books are split into two. Um, but although I guess other games is kind of a necessity. All right, here we have, I'm not sure. I don't remember a ton about this game. As with so many Kickstarters, I kind of just forget about it until it shows up on my door. But these look like, hold on. Mm. I hate opening cards on camera. It's not fun. All right. They're definitely like hospital gurneys and stuff. I don't know, it looks like it's just stuff you put on the board. They're cards instead of tiles for some reason. Uh, all right, what else do we have here? We have team action cards. I'm not going to go through all these because they're probably not all that interesting, but this is a, one of the new mechanics they added for this game where you can do team play um, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I probably sound very misinformed about this, but again, it's been a long time. Uh, all right, new dice. There's always a different color of die. This one seems to, the, the whole theme of the color scheme of this game seems to be orange and yellow. I'm not a big fan, but okay. And more trackers. Seriously, just, I have so many trackers and dice now, it's ridiculous. More cards. I'm actually glad they replaced the, ah, artwork. 
<laughs> here we go. Just I'm not going to look at every single one of these cards, but we'll just take a look at some of them. The Ah artwork. And Skinner Ambush. Place one Skinner Walker in the room you just searched. So it's giving you specific. Oh, very cool. All right, I like that. Yeah, the new skinless zombies are like the new thing in this game. New weapons. You got a bow, bulletproof vest, and damage. Oh, that's cool. I don't think that's the first time that showed up, right? I think that might have been in another edition. All the typical Molotov cocktail stuff. Knife. La Guillotine. It's the name of the developer. Mac 10. There's the Molotov. MP5. Pistol, of course. Plenty of ammo cards. Okay, that's kind of basic stuff. We have a new card of Saber. Is that any interesting? Let's see. Saber. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Two damage or two dice you roll. Uh, hit on four or more, two damage. That's actually pretty good, I'd say. It's at least comparable to the Samurai Sword. Sawed off scope, regular sword. Oh, great. <laughs> you just fall into a like, similar medieval history museum. Urban maid? Urban mace. <laughs> Renas you stumble onto a Renaissance festival. That would be awesome. All right, here's the Skinner zombie cards you can put into the deck. Blue red card. Each blue red Unoccupied tile spawns a crawler. Oh, this that's where the oh interesting blue bed bed. Sorry blue not blue red blue bed. <laughs> okay. All right. You probably came here for the minis. Let's do the minis uh, You can see all the character cards down there at the bottom of the box Let's see two boxes. We'll do the smaller one first. These would be the survivors There you go Super cool. Let's pick one out and let's see this this young lady here seems pretty interesting let's see if I can get this in any kind of focus whatsoever sorry no obviously I it's beyond my camera skills at the, at the moment uh, okay good enough I think yeah sorry I'm not great at this camera yet but picking up fine details. Not that these look all that great without like a paint job. But yeah, these are the survivors. Actually, I think some of these are like you. You don't get you get like um, not team members, but like helpers and like sidekicks and things in this version of the game. Maybe that's why some of them look more accoutrement. A oh, cool bow guy. Yeah, they look really good. I mean, you can never complain about Simon's quality of miniatures that's for sure all right let's keep going this sounds like something's loose in here these are the zombies and keeping up with a sickly color scheme here are row after row of zombies the crawling zombies i'm kind of surprised that it took them so long to do crawlers given that even games like run fight or die had them Here's what I want to see. The new Berserker. Ah! Almost fell. He looks pointy. This is the kind of thing you don't want to step on in the middle of the night. If it falls on the floor. <laughs> the new fatty. Very cool. They look all look so cool. Even if you're not into zombies, I mean, I, I think you can at least appreciate the worksmanship. Here's the new runner. They have all the standard zombies, of course. They all look really cool. All right, what else do we have here? Characters and boards. And that's it, I think. They have enough expansions now. I think they should start hiding stuff in the box like Cards Against Humanity does. <laughs> or like Ignacy did for Imperial Settlers and put something funny on one flap of the insert. Uh, if, you, if you own Imperial Settlers, you know what I'm talking about. Go and look through your box. Here, there's characters just... There's Bear, Kathy, D Dan. Oh wow, the, the that font is terrible. James, Jane, Joe. Obviously, the like the normal survivors and helpers and stuff are not based off of anyone in particular, like famous. Those are going to be for the stretch goal stuff. I'll actually say right now, I first off I didn't pledge for the Angry Neighbors expansion. So I'm going to have to buy that at retail with everyone else because I, I just didn't see the point. All I wanted was like the bonus stretch goal unlocked stuff. 
which you could get with the pledge level I got just for Room Org. And in fact, I only pledged for one bonus exclusive miniature that you didn't get for free. And that was the one, I think her name was Oksana, who was based off of the Resident Evil uh, Mila Jovovich character. Uh, just because I thought her miniature looked cool and it made sense to have a Resident Evil woman in the game. Oh, a helipad. Like a legit helipad. That's cool looking. Oof, they don't spare any expense on this game, nor should they. Whoa, nasty. What is that? It's like some sort of ride? I don't know, it's weird. It's cool. Lots and lots of detail. There are going to be people watching this. Well, I don't know why they would watch it. I guess I should have been looking at the other side of the tiles. Is this anything interesting? No, hospital. But there may be people who are hate watching this who are like, oh, I wish all of this stuff was used in a better game. But they're wrong. This is a great game. It just so happens to have beautiful stuff that every game should have as far as the quality of the components. Graffiti, what does that say? Anything? Nothing. Who knew? What? It's toilet. Outdoor sewage lot, something or other. More graffiti. At this point, really, there's another, there's a blank helipad. Really, I have so much stuff for this game, it's hard to imagine I'd ever get bored playing it. <laughs> With all the variety, but anyways, that is Rue Morgue. Obviously, there's no extra stuff. This is pretty much what you're going to get in, I think this is exactly what you'll get in retail if you buy it, but still a ton of cool miniatures. Um, I can't wait to give it a shot, and hopefully that will be as soon as tonight. And, uh, well, I hope everything looked cool to you. Uh, my name is Nick. This has been Board Game Brawl, another uh, patented Board Game Brawl unboxing. I'm reminding you to get out there and game every day in every way, and watch out for walkers.